The focal point is the area of the image that commands the attention of the viewer. This may be the subject. It is important for us as artists to be able to create defined focal points in our artwork. So let's look at a few ways to do this. One way to create a focal point is through contrast. Whenever you have an object, or in this case a shape, that's different from other objects or shapes around it, it becomes the focal point purely because of contrast. The red triangle in this image is different from the white circles around it. Another way to create a focal point is through isolation. Whenever you isolate one object, it naturally becomes the focal point. In this case, the cone is separated from the other objects, thus isolating it. The cone is the focal point in this image. A third way is through placement of objects. In this image by Rembrandt, there are actually three focal points. But if you look at the man at the table in the middle, he is clearly one of the three focal points because he is placed near the center of the picture plane. Take a look at this image by Mary Cassatt entitled The Letter. What do you think the focal point is? The focal point is the envelope that she's holding in her hands. This is accomplished through something called convergence. Convergence is where you have implied lines that point towards the envelope. If you look in this image, you can see how the objects are arranged in a way to create implied lines. Another way to create a focal point is by incorporating something that might be unusual to the situation. In this case, the green alien is obviously unusual to a group of humans standing there. Thus, it becomes the focal point. So, by incorporating contrast, isolation, placement, convergence, and the unusual, you can create focal points in your artworks. This has been another video tutorial by TheVirtualInstructor.com.